Okay, guys, uh, everybody can able to see my screen, right? Okay, is it my voice is audible? Okay, okay. So uh, let me introduce uh, myself. Uh, my name is Vijay Baskar. I have been uh, working in SAP since uh, 11 plus years, and I have total uh, 15 plus years of experience. Uh, and coming to my expertise skills on SAP, I have a good experience of uh, SAP FICO and as well as uh, uh, FSCM in FSCM like uh, uh, collection management, credit management, dispute management, and uh, and treasury and risk management. Then apart from this, even I have a good hands-on experience on SD uh, sales and distribution module. So these are my expertise skills uh, uh, in SAP and uh, coming to my education qualification, I am I have completed uh, ICWA and MBA. So this is about me. Okay, so in the last uh, session, we had a discussion about the, okay, what is the SAP and how it is going to help to the organizations to maximize their profits. So once again, a quick recap before getting to the today's agenda. So the as I have explained in the last session, so SAP stands for Systems Applications Products in Data Processing, and SAP is a one of the ERP package. So the ERP stands for Enterprise Resources Planning, and how ERP is going to help to the organizations to their in real time. So it covers ERP, it covers all the techniques and concepts for the best utilization of the resources of the enterprise to maximize the profits. Then ERP is a based on the integrated, manage, integrated management of all the departments in the enterprise. In the last session, in the last demo session, I have explained about how integrated management is going to help to the organization and how the manage how uh, the <clears throat> integrate, integrated mega, uh, integrated management is bringing coordination in between all the departments. I have already explained you about uh, all the things. Now today, today agenda, we are going to discuss about uh, SAP system landscape and uh, what is the R3 what type of data available in sap and at the same time <clears throat> understanding of the uh, the sap easy access initial screen and what is the client so these are the things which we are going to discuss in today's session okay so let's move on to the sap system landscape so the sap system landscape how they are how the organizations are going to build so so the in real time we will have the three kind of servers like development server quality server and as well as production server okay so what is the development what is the development server what exactly the consultants do in development server development server even even the uh, people will call is a golden client so the development server where the consultants are going to do the customizations according to the client according to the business requirements then from there from there the changes the whatever the changes whatever the customizations they the consultants did then they are going to move from there to quality system the quality system is the system where the uh, the consultants and as well as business people they are going to perform testing and once the once everything is okay then the changes will be transported to the production system means the production system is a live system where it will connect it to the external source systems okay now let's say for example if my client want to under development one server in development server within development server i we want business want to have a multiple clients then this can be also possible one is a sandbox another one is a golden client for another one is for unit testing i just have explained about here how we can um, <coughs> differentiate the clients but client is a very very important one when we are going to log in into the system okay going forward you you will come to know what exactly the client how we can use the client while logging into the system now Okay, so now this is about the landscape, SAP landscape. Now let's move on to the next slide. What is the R3? R3. So R3. What is R3 is a real-time 
three tier architecture real time three tier architecture means earlier in in when sap has started the beginning days they have the sap had two tier architecture now once uh, once they come up with uh, three tier architecture so the the sap it has the three layers one is a presentation layer application layer and as well as a database layer okay now what exactly the layers it contains what is mean by presentation layer what is mean by the application layer and what is mean by the and what is mean by the database layer now let's move on to the next slide so that we will come to know now now it's a just a given uh, it's a high level database layer application layer and presentation layer now you can see here can see here what is a presentation layer the presentation layer here users are going to log in into the system then they are going to key the data what whatever they want means the business people are going to log in here and they can enter the data they are going to record the data into the system provides graphical screens i mean this is a users uh, users are going to enter data then the next one this is the present about the presentation layer now the application layer application layer what it does processing the data what the business what users are, are go, what what data users has been entered the data is going to process by the application layer now the data is going to process <clears throat> now you can see process data using application logic whatever the business logic which we which consultant uh, <clears throat> has been built then according to the logic the system is going to process the system is going to process the data this is the function this is the about the application layer now database layer whatever the data whatever the data the users has been keyed then the data is going to stored into the into the database layer this is about the presentation layer application layer and as well as database layer okay so friends anyone has any query any i mean if uh, anyone is not clear please let me know so that uh, I will clarify. Okay, fine. So, okay, I don't see any queries uh, from the people. Okay. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Okay, what type of data the SAP servers it have? What kind of data SAP have? So there are two type of data which SAP has. One is a client dependent data. Another one is a client independent data. So in this in this section, now you can see that the client independent data. So the client independent data, the data which user creates in one in one client and and it is a limited to that client only means the data whatever the business users are consultants they are going to create some master data customizing uh, okay whatever the things they are going to do it's only it's applicable for that client only it's not applicable for the other clients that that we can say is a client dependent data see that the data which users create in one uh, in one client is limited to the client only and it is not accessible in other clients this is the main of this one now now see for example i have given is a user master data customizing then applications then okay so so <clears throat> so next is a client independent data so what is a client independent data where there where the data is going to map for the cross clients it's an a customizing and a repository like for example i have given is a printers ABAP programs for smart farms which is for the client independent data which this these programs and farms which will fall under is a client independent data okay so let's uh, move on to the next one okay how how we are going to log in into the sap system 
now there will be a logon pad now you can see here this is a gui okay graphical user interface sap logon then the moment if you double click here what will the system will will uh, display the login logon pad so then select the client whichever you want then then you can click on the login the moment if you can click on the login click on the login what system will display then move on to the next slide now you can see here client client as i have explained about in the earlier uh, slides the client is a um, is an a <clears throat> Okay, without client, we cannot log in into the SAP. Let's say, for example, here the user, the, here the users are going to log in the 800 client. Then here you can see the username, SAP, uh, whatever the username the organization has been provided. We need to key the username, then the password. Now, now, now come, now move to the the language. By default, what SAP will will <clears throat> will select the language is the English language. If you want to particular language if you want to log in like in a german language okay like it's a country according to the country requirement if you want you can log in into the other than english language also then move on to the next one okay then what is the client what is the client okay the client is the highest level in the sap system hierarchy specifications that you make our data that you entered at this level okay means the meaning here is that the data whatever the data you are going to enter okay at client level the data which we can use for all the company codes means the data what we are going to do the configuration at client level that will be applicable for that will be valid for all the company codes and for other and all other organization structures okay so that is the mean of the the point number one then the point number two is a user must enter a client key okay when when they log in when they <coughs> log in into the sap system then we can see that one how we can how we can uh, uh, log in now this is the one let's see the login okay this is the main okay the client here we must have to enter the client in which client we are logging into then at the same time username you must have to give the username then password you must have to give the password so that the system will the system will then we can enter into the sap system okay now see user must be enter a client key when they log in to the sap system this defines the client this define this defines the client okay in which they wish to work okay all the entries you must make are saved as per the client okay that is the mean of while while logging into sap system we must have to choose the client okay based on the based on the based on the uh, business requirement which client you want to use then you can do the what you want to do the customization and you want to do the some analysis so that uh, it will be useful okay now okay then this means that you cannot include customer accounts from different clients in one dunning run okay so okay the customer accounts the uh, this means that you cannot include customer accounts from one different client in one dunning means the meaning here is that the dunning is a concept is for it will fall under the accounts receivable concept so that i am going to cover how it will be useful okay now okay now access authorization is assigned as per the client it means if your organization have the multiple clients then the author the access will be given the access will be given based on the clients okay if you are eligible i mean if you are the right uh, right person to log in into the client so that the business will be decided the organizations will be decided then they will give the they will give the appropriate author the necessary authorizations to log in and to work into the system now move on to the next slide then the sap easy access initial screen this is the little bit uh, uh, please concentrate here friends first you need to understand what is the what are the up <coughs> what is mean by menu bar what is the standard toolbar okay these are the options which we could see 
which we could see in the in the um, easy access screen now you can see the screen bar now okay now we can see the screen header the screen header contains what exactly it contains okay see the screen header this is the call is a screen header what exactly it contain now let's move to the now this is the one the screen header what you can see what it contains now we can see it's a menu bar screen header it contains menu bar standard toolbar title bar and application bar where exactly now you can see <coughs> screen see now you can see title bar standard toolbar application toolbar then menu bar what you can see here menu bar standard toolbar title bar and application bar then screen banner okay in previous re okay this was something uh, i have written in previous releases uh, the title bar and menu bar were at the top of the r3 window as a from the release uh, 4. Point, uh, from the release 4.6 onwards as a screen banner replaced the two elements the screen banner consist of what exactly the screen banner it consists of now we can see the <coughs> the screen banner now we can see here it's a differentiating now this one and above one the above options so what you can see here the exactly if i can open this one and this options and as well as this one and this one now we can see here okay now now next one is a menu bar gui graphic gui stands for i have already explained in the last session gui is the graphical user interface okay interaction button menu bar okay now where exactly the gui where uh, you can uh, see that one gui here you could see that here you can enter that gui graphical user interface the one okay now okay now menu bar okay we have already discussed about okay what exactly the menu bar the minimization maximization the options where you could see here you could see the minimization maximization and if you want to close the screen then the options which are available this is the representing the same one the logo then you can also find the gui interaction options for the drop down menu that appears where you can choose in the left hand corner okay so now, now you can uh, we can see SAP menu options, SAP menu options where you can able to see this is the one, this is the one SAP menu option. Now let's move on to the next slide. Then the screen banner, okay, by default, okay, by default, let's okay. Now you can see command field is closed by default the command field is going to close this mean this is the mean that one what they are explaining the by default the command field the option command field which has been closed by default and now if you want to appear that one there's just click on this one so that we can enter the commands which one which we want to enter okay display this one arrow so that the option it will be enabled to enter the transaction codes which we want okay <clears throat> okay now now if you want to display which transaction codes you have entered early in in the previous login or in the previous uh, um, okay sessions now if you feel you can see here whatever the transaction codes which you have logged in then the system system will display the the transaction codes which we have logged in earlier now the title bar now the title bar what you can uh, see here okay so the title bar here what exactly it contains the title bar this is the title bar sap easy access screen this we can call it as a title bar sap easy access screen. that means the title the exactly the system is going to display the title <clears throat> now the title bar okay the page title bar appears below the top level for the navigation bar and the relates to the currently displayed portal page okay it contains the items okay <clears throat> pertain to the okay runtime navigation of the portal pages as well as the items related to the identification personalization and the handling of portal pages now let's move on to the next one now 
what are the futures the sap has means the options what options futures means like uh, 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 create new one and save copy delete these are the these are the futures what sap has provided now if you want to create any new new thing then if you go to let me show you Let's go to the SPRO. Then I will show you one thing. Okay, so these are the options. If you want to create now new, open, then copy the object which you want to copy and delete option. If you want to delete, delete anything, you can select this one, delete, then save all save all then close all search okay where user list this can be used in the uh, well for abapers most of the cases then exit exit function send system messages this sap also have the internal uh, um, internal um, <clears throat> message sending functionality so this we could see then here if you have if you have any uh, if you have received any messages from the within a SAP system approval mechanism, then we can able to see within SAP system, then the message functionalities. Now, other function transfer integration scenario from repository configuration. This are, these are the functions which SAP has, these are the features what SAP has been provided. Then move on to the next one. So, okay, now friends, so this is a just high level uh, overview of the uh, how to log in into the system, what is the client and what are the features SAP has been provided and also what kind of data we, uh, SAP is having. So this is a just high level explanation and also I have explained about uh, what is the R3 functionality, how many uh, layers are there in the R, uh, in, in real time in R3 structure and each layer fun each layer also each layer functionality also I have explained about okay so friends I'm just giving a pause one minute here so that if anyone has any query so that 